Hi everyone, this is Omar Kazarski, Creative Director of Bauer Web Solutions, www.bauerwebsolutions.com. I wanted to show you quickly how you can use our color picker system on our website to help uh, choose an on-screen color for use on your um, website or any on-screen presentation. There are many, many differences uh, between how color is perceived either from the printed page versus the computer screen versus nature. And if we consider the fact that the way things are printed, uh, depending upon the paper it's printed, the type of ink, and the process used, the colors can vary greatly. So when trying to communicate color to uh, a client on screen that's also a relative term in the sense that everyone's computer screens are different um, Macs versus PCs or even you know uh, two PC screens or two Mac screens they could have different brightness and contrast settings the room that you're in versus the other person's room could have more ambient light you know even our emotional state can sometimes uh, change our color perception. So what I want to show you now is just a quick overview of how to choose a color and get um, the actual hexadecimal or six digit value used in web coding to define a color that you can communicate to either us if we're doing a web project for you or one of your other vendors. First thing you'll need to do is launch a browser and I'm going to launch uh, Safari but this will work in any browser and the web address you're going to go to which I'm zooming in here is bauerwebsolutions.com forward slash color picker now you notice here I do not have the www if I did have the www it would still work so either way www dot bauerwebsolutions.com forward slash color picker and this is our color picker here now I'm just going to show you very briefly how to choose a color and there's many other options available here uh, the different models up on top such as you know complementary and triad and tetrad we also have uh, menus up above here for different export options but very simply I'm just going to keep this as, as simple as possible the color that I'm referring to is in the middle of this large multicolored color wheel here in the bottom right of the display so whatever the color is in the middle in this case a red is the color in question that color is represented here on the right in this large area and in the default setup of mono which is how it's going to be configured when you first launch the color picker mono will be highlighted here the interface here on the right once again this large area is the same color that's represented in the center of the multicolored color wheel on the left and these other sections here these four corners are just showing you complementary colors so when I move my mouse over this large red area it's giving me a little hover state so there in white with the black background is the hexadecimal value for that particular red it begins with the hashtag or the number symbol followed by six digits either a combination of letters or numbers so that current color is also represented here in the bottom right corner of that multicolor color wheel FF0000 so how do I change 
this color. Well, let's say that I wanted to find a green that I like that I, appears pleasant to me on screen. Using the color picker in the mono state, and again, I'm just showing you this one state because it's the easiest way to pick a color. We locate the black dot. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. The black dot that's inside of this color wheel here. It's probably going to be at the 12 o'clock position. So I can click and drag it or just click someplace around that circumference there either clockwise or counterclockwise. Here I'm just clicking to get myself within the neighborhood or ballpark of the color that I want. Depending upon your browser you could also you know click and drag it but if that doesn't work just simply click once not double click so I'm going to get myself into the green category and again if you double click sometimes you'll get a dialog box just hit cancel so right now this is my green which is represented here once again and here as the number so if you notice here this number here for this current center value is 41 D B 0 0 and when I roll my mouse over the center section of that right square I see the same value so you would write that down if that's the color that you'd like and then send an email to either us or your um, other vendor but let's say that you like this green but maybe you want it a little brighter a little darker you know more vivid less vivid you know or intense how do we change that in the bottom of this interface there's three tabs here hues color scheme excuse me adjust scheme and color list we're going to click on the adjust scheme and we have two boxes here saturation and lights saturation is how uh, vivid the color is more a higher saturation means it's more intense less saturation means it's more gray or dull and then the lightness determines how much you know uh, white or black is in the image so again comparing it to this large section over here which right now is D uh, 41 DB 00 if I wanted to take down the saturation make it less intense I might move this little slider here over to the left or I could move it down if I the closer I get uh, to the right hand side and to the top it gets more intense so up here would be very intense in the top right Uh, closer to the bottom or to the left it gets duller okay so that's a saturation so you can play around with that and then the lightness by clicking and dragging this circle which right now is in the center dragging it to the left will make it lighter dragging it to the right will make it darker dragging it to the top left will make it very dark dragging it to the bottom left will make it very light okay so it's a combination of two different aspects, saturation and lightness. So you can play around with the color until you get it right. And then when you roll your mouse over it, it will display the new six digit hexadecimal value. So you just write that down on a piece of paper or within an email. In this case, it's changed to six. C C D for three. So you would write that down or type that six digit into an email and send it off to us and then um, the color that we use in say your design will look the same on your screen. Now that is not to say that that exact color will look the same on somebody else's screen or when we're dealing with print that's a whole other ball of wax when you're getting a design or a business card printed by a professional printer you always want to check with your printer and have them show you a color swatch book so you can compare apples to apples so you can see how his actual color 
will print on a given piece of paper with a given set of inks. All right. So I hope this utility on our site uh, can be helpful to you. And if you have any questions about color or web design or graphic design, you can give us a call. Once again, our website is www.bowerwebsolutions.com. Thanks for watching.